Hello guys, Death Trooper with you here. This is weekly cast number one. Yes, I have decided I'm going to start making at least one cast every single week, starting with this one, and it's uh, mostly I'm going to try and do pro games and analyze them and uh, commentate them for you guys. I will usually do games uh, that I don't watch in advance, and uh, sometimes I'll do games of my own if I find some good ones. But uh, anyway, some friends of mine, M Dub and S Mac, have encouraged me to start commentating more. And uh, if I start getting a lot of good feedback and uh, a lot of views, maybe I'll start doing uh, one every other day, or eventually maybe even one every day, depending on the turnout. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this cast. I have not seen the game yet. I'll uh, start it now. It is going to be E G Hydra versus Liquid Huck. Uh, Protoss versus Zerg. So, uh, oh, this uh, replay even includes their text. Let's go party, work that body. <laughs> Liquid Huck being pretty funny there. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll see the results of this. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's going to be Protoss versus Zerg. And, uh, yeah, so far just uh, seems standard build by both players. Nothing uh, fancy like Six Pool or anything like that from Hydra. Of course, he doesn't believe in cheese, so we're not going to see any of that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, both of these players are, are high-level pro players. Liquid Hawk is from uh, Canada, and E.G. Hydra is from the United States. He was living in Korea for a while, or working on the team CJ Entis, I believe. I could be wrong on the specific team. But uh, he's now switched to Team E.G., and uh, that stands for Evil Geniuses. And Liquid Hawk is from uh, Team Liquid. So, uh, anyway... We have here uh, Liquid Huck scouting in the um, wrong direction, as well as Hydra sending his, his overlord in the, the wrong direction as well. Uh, just a second here, I'm going to reply to this person, tell them to stop, uh, stop talking to me. Um, so anyway, we have Hydra throwing down a spawning pool. It looks at 14 supply. That's actually quite late, which actually means that might have been a 15 supply. And note that he does not have any kind of expansion yet. So he did do spawning pool first and gas immediately as well. So that's an interesting opening. I've never really seen that late of a pool without a fast expand. Or I don't know, maybe it's uh, Hydra's new new macro style of play he's, he's experimenting with. I have no idea. Anyway, it looks like uh, Liquid Huck here getting his gateway pylon and gas standard opening build. I expect a cybernetic score probably to come up soon here, unless he's going to throw down a second gateway and start rushing zealots. But I don't think that that's going to happen. So uh, we're just going to see what he's going to do here. Uh, now Huck knows where he is. He's also setting his probe on patrol to deny the expansion here from Hydra. Uh, it's a nice move, and the reason he sets it on patrol instead of just leaving it still is that it doesn't appear as an idle worker for him. Let's look at the APM tab for a minute here. We actually have Huck at 250, and I draw around 100. I imagine that Huck is just spamming APM right now, as there shouldn't be that much going on for him to have that high of APM. Hydra is, uh, probably has less spam going on, and his APM looks a little bit more realistic. Anyway, Huck opting to throw down two pylons. I don't know if I agree with two of them. One of them I definitely agree with, as it does delay the expansion further. If he cancels it, which he did by the looks of that, he actually cancelled both. I guess he got most of his minerals back, 75%. So I guess uh, the second pylon wasn't too bad. He, he could have left that other one there a little bit longer, I think, but I guess he didn't want to let it complete. So anyway, Hydra has fast expanded, as uh, typical Zergs usually always do. He has a queen out. And uh, is producing another queen, uh, just preparing for the extra expand. Nothing fancy going on here. No, uh, no zerglings being built yet, or any other kind of tech. And uh, let's have a look at Hux base here. We have a gateway, two, three gateways, and a chrono boost on the warp gate. I imagine he is going to do four gate. Is what the l looks of it is. Idris scouting this wisely, using his drone to get in here, slipping past the zealot and uh, getting in for the scout, so I'm just going to know exactly what's going to go uh, going on and know the timings perfectly. Unless Huck switches it up and throws down a Robo Bay or Twilight Council or, or a Stargate. So there it is. And <coughs> it looks like he's probably going to get Phoenix or Void Ray out of here, harass the Overlords a bit maybe, and uh, just pr produce out of three gates until he gets his expansion up as well. Uh, I'm not sure how soon 
Huck plans on doing this. Idra keeping Zerglings at the front so he knows when Huck moves out or expands. So that's a good play by Idra. Uh, pretty solid positioning here. And uh, Huck just kind of testing these Zerglings uh, with the Sentry and the Zealot. Uh, it's got to be careful not to let that sentry get taken out as well as not let the zergling slip by and up up the ramp into the main. Uh, good control by both players here. Idra losing a couple zerglings but not losing all of them and kind of dancing around making Huck work, work for his, uh, his uh, natural expansion here which I'm sure is coming. Here it is. Let's see what Idra's doing. Idra seems to have gotten the second gas going for layer now as well and getting a roach warren. So it looks like Idra is going to go Roaches, uh, also opting to throw down the gas down here. I imagine it's going to be a transition into maybe Hydras or something else as well, now that he has the layer up. Uh, I don't believe you need three gas for, for a, a Roach play, but I don't know. I'm not uh, too much of a pro on Zerg, so I won't judge that. Um, Huck getting a lot of sentries here. Uh, I've seen a lot of pro Protoss players do this against Zerg. So uh, I would consider that standard. No sentries, no. I would say he should probably get at least one sentry, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Using force fields from sentries can be really, really dirty. And uh, sentries are pretty good against mutalisks and things like that. So that, it's a pretty good, pretty good play so far here by Huck. And he is opting to get Void Rays. He already has one out, and he has another one with a rally point way over here. So I'm surprised this first one's out and is not yet going. Maybe he's waiting for both, and that's exactly what he's doing. So now he has both. He's moving out across the map. I'll keep the production tab open while I'm following these units in the meantime. Uh, that Overlord I saw, I thought was just here a second ago. I guess it's moved into Scout, get a little look around. I'm not sure. Hydra has not seen the Starport. Just seeing it now. And uh, it's going to be too late because there's two Void Rays already out. How many queens does Hydra have? And it only looks like two queens and not producing any more. The correct response to Void Rays at this point in time would be more queens. But it does not look like he's going to have it in time. How much damage will Huck be able to do? We'll have to wait and see. Huck not noticing this third expansion down on the bottom. So uh, we're going to see here what he's going to do. Moving in, charging up on the extractor. I think he might as well be just doing the hatchery instead of wasting time on the extractor. But now that he has the full charge, he's shooting on the queens, uh, doing tremendous damage to them. Is he going to pull this one back and might go it a little bit or is he going to risk losing it? He could lose it. It's going to be really close. This queen might get it. He does pull it back and the queen does not. The queen does get it. Epic, epic. Uh Miss Micro by Huck, he should have pulled it back a little bit further. Hydra opting to move that queen forward to, to snipe that off the last minute. Very good. And pumping out the extra queens, as I mentioned. He's probably got some here. Actually, he's got Hydras out now. I missed that. He has a Hydra Den somewhere. Anyway, here's the Hydra Den. Uh, the Hydras are going to totally push these back. That's going to be the end of that assault. Did no real damage. Killed two queens, lost one Void Ray. I'm going to say that that was not cost effective and not worth it. Didn't even kill the Extractor. Um... That attack was definitely thwarted. Well played by Idra. Might even lose another Void Ray here, Huck. Better watch out. Um, I think he should pull these right back to his base and uh, just sit back. Uh, this Overlord might go down, which will cost Idra another 100 minerals. Huck's still opting to pump Void Rays, losing another one. Uh, how many more? He's stopped producing them finally. So two Void Rays. He's actually making a push out here as well, full of Zealots and Sentries. No Stalkers in the composition note, so Force Fields will have to be... Uh, behind the Zealots in order for the Zealots to be able to attack. Uh, normally you'd like to have Stalkers in the back so you can block Roaches off and have the range of your Stalkers hit Roaches. But uh, that's not the case we're going to see here. No, no charge on the Zealots either so they're significantly uh, a lot worse uh, without that charge. And as we saw those Zealots just kind of got steamrolled. The Sentry Zealot composition was not good enough. I think he should have had a couple more Stalkers in there maybe and not continued to pump Void Rays when they weren't producing results. Anyway, Huck have both gas ups, but does not have this one fully saturated yet. Has good mineral saturation here, though he could use some more probes. And he has uh, some good uh, saturation here as well, although he could use more as well. But he's producing them as we speak, so that's expected. Getting the Robo Bay now, uh, and double Robo facility, actually. So we're going to see some strong Immortal and or Colossi out in a minute here. Uh, opting not to get a Twilight Council for Charger Blink. So it seems he's going to stick to a Robo Play, Robo Gateway style of build. And uh, perhaps later on get the other buildings. Hydra moving out across the map here with some uh, good amount of Roaches and Hydras. So this is going to be 
challenging. There are two cannons here. Is that going to be enough? Perfect uh, force fields here. Might be able to snipe these roaches. Now he finally has sentries, and this is what I'm talking about. Uh, the cannons have detection. The roaches burrow is not going to help them here. There is not enough energy on either of these sentries for any more force fields. Idra could push, push up here right now. This is his moment of truth, but he's not realizing that. Uh, I believe other sentries have now come to the front or just been warped in and they now have enough energy for force fields. So Idra is going to fall back here. Didn't really do any damage with that attack. Lost a couple roaches, but uh, he kind of tested the front of Huck. Kept him on his toes anyway. Uh, let's switch back to the APM for a minute. Very high right now and uh, this is probably more real than spam at this point since a lot is going on. So it's exciting to see uh, how, how high level of play both these players are. And uh, Idra here got his third expansion, uh, the hatchery up, but not really saturating too much, although the workers just arrived as I said that, so I take my words back. And um, he actually has very good drone production on all of them. Let's go to the units tab here and see how many workers he has. 62 to 57, so Idra should have uh, an income rate higher than Huck. We're going to see this here, 300 more minerals and about equal gas, but that's about to jump. Both these gas just got up, and here it is, 200 more gas almost. So uh, is that gonna pay off? Probably. We're gonna have to see here in a few minutes. Let's look at the total uh, farm value here. We have 160 supply here compared to 108. Huck is severely behind. <coughs> oh, pardon me for coughing. I'm coming off a cold here. Anyway, 